Good morning, YouTube. Sorry for the short good morning part. This is your host, MC Redsmith, coming at you with yet a another episode. I don't recall what episode this is because <laughs> I might as well be saying it's a whole new season. Especially after last time. The world's not gone this time. The only issue is that every time I try to load into it, and I'll show you. See, the world's still there. Now, if it works this time, I'm going to be kicking myself in the butt. But just be paying attention over there. Generally after this, I get a shutting down internal server. Like that. And the game completely crashes. So, that world is unable to be played by me. I figured I'd show you that. Now I'm going to get back in to, or I'm going to relaunch the game. And so y'all going to have to sit with me here for a minute with the black screen. And I'm sorry about that. This is an update. World 2. Down the drain. And I did promise a subscriber and fellow Restless Gamer. that I would create or basically cover the brewing process for you know making mead, sake, uh, ale, beer and the rest of that. Now the only way for me to do that would be to go into a creative world more or less right now and just kind of cover that and I pick back up try to anyways where I wind up leaving off all over again now if y'all want that you know leave it in the comments below saying that you know yeah okay we're all right with that but I'm going to go ahead and do single player. I'm going to create a whole new world. I'm going to call it <laughs> Brew World. And we're going to go into creative, basically, just to do it simple. Create a whole new world. This is going to be a, you know, what you need to look for how you need to get it. And I'll even show you the crafting recipes. Now, if y'all like this style of video, let me know. And I could show you how to do it. It's completely up to you. Now. One issue that a lot of people are going to having with the brewing process that I'm going to cover is how to make mead. Alright, well as you see we start off in a jungle biome and we're not going to really need those. Okay, so we're going to fly up out of here and let me look at the map. I'm going to set up a tutorial <laughs> basically right over here. Got to flatten out some land. Ah, oh, cool. We got uh, a uh, dryad there. Okay, well, whatever. Let's go ahead and clear off some space here. Because we're going to need a lot of it. Now, as you know, uh, extra utilities is in so you know we do have uh, tanks and stuff like that so 
let me go ahead and do this uh, let's see tank uh, we'll go ahead and just do a creative one just for grins and giggles and let's see need fermenting barrels let's see there's sake mead ale wine I do believe I think there's like five but anyways we're gonna set that up create a tank we're gonna hold on to actually really I only need one all right now let's see we're gonna need some presses fruit press basically to be set up there then another barrel another fruit press and tell you what uh, let's see what mod is that that is I think it's growth craft or granny surface let's see nope growth craft yeah growth craft all right so we can look at what all we're gonna need we're gonna need a bee box just for generalized brewing kettle and actually we're gonna need two brewing kettles so let's see there's that one a brewing kettle there and the best thing to always get a brewing kettle going let's see I want to look here and go some netherrack up oh. there <laughs> okay sorry wrong placement uh, flint and steel go ahead and get that going there we go get that to where it'll brew up and let's see uh, tell you what we should have some fluid ducts and there they are fluid ducts into there into there into there okay now the beehive the bee box as you'll see and I do uh, here see that's how you make it just basically any planks in that form and you get a bee box okay and what it's supposed to do is it's supposed to attract bees but you need a let's see if I can find it uh, I don't think I'm gonna find it that way but basically the beehive growth craft okay now see you can't you know do anything with that because it is a miscellaneous hive now let me just do hive uh, hive block biomes plenty not that let's see B. nope let's see if we can find one in the wilds real quick because that'd be the best way to show you now because I'm recording this with OBS it's not going to give me the option uh, without going in and trying to convert it with a different format but basically let's see nope that's oh uh, no that's a different tree of course they tend to grow on those trees too so let me see if I can find one here um, a lot of times you'll find them in forest biomes and stuff like that. See, I don't want to cut it because of the simple fact I have to be doing this in two videos. Well, I'll tell you what. I'll just do a part one and show you the basic brewing process. Okay? So, pardon all this waste of time here. We're going to get back over here. Then we're going to land. Right on the fluid duct. Okay. Now, what this one here 
needs is a fluid duct going into it and we're going to need a tank like that this one here you don't need any of that okay don't need any of that we're going to get a bucket we're going to get a bucket of water creative tank boom there we go filled with water okay tools uh, let's see is that even going to be there nope let's see crescent hammer and we're going to basically put that to an output now see wow okay there was some latency there let's see why is that let's open up the GUI there yeah as you see it is filled with water now when you're wanting to brew that you know this you can do for I do believe hops and stuff but uh, let's see we're gonna go and we're gonna go ahead and get ourselves a little bit of a hops farm on the go here all right there there so you can do it three high but the best height is anywhere from you know three to six what you'll need to do then is uh, let's see where is it to get the necessary material um, is get a lead and then let's see find us a crafting table there there we go with a lead after you create one okay and I'll show you the recipe for that you can create leads like that okay now what you do with this is you put it into there and you get eight rope which is what you're gonna need okay since I'm in creative I can do this a bit easier now you're gonna need to connect that all the way down to the ground for hops like so okay now let's get ourselves out a hoe here just any random hoe will work okay so you ain't want to till that way alrighty and we'll go ahead and get another one in there now hops can be gathered from the vines from breaking them as you would have seen in I do believe my first you know let's play video but we're going about it a bit of a different way okay now with the hops that you would find you want to put them into any type of crafting grid doesn't matter where you put it dead center if you want in a crafting table you get hop seed okay then you plant it like so now let's see let's get a watering can extra utilities version and we're gonna hit that up with you know make it grow like so as you'll see it's gonna keep growing up the rope however long you have the rope is however much it's gonna grow okay see I just set it there for a little bit but you know what we're gonna do this a little bit faster there we go we're getting a lot of hops there okay this is how you make beer okay we've already picked up 43 okay what you want to do then is you want to put them into there well I think it's into there I'm trying to remember no it'd be uh, fruit press I do believe then and you also need a redstone signal for the fruit press let's see there we go well nope that's not working there either so what is causing the issue see water why is that not working now it. let's see tell you what we'll just look at grape I think grape will work better let's see help if I could spell Put the foam mill up there Really, I can't middle click. 
Okay. So let's see. Go back into here. And we'll go eight. There we go. Okay. I know that that'll work in the fruit press. You know, you take, you put it into there. And see, it's making grape wine. Young. Okay. That's, this is how you make wine. Okay, now you need another lever to pull that out and put it into here. Now how you ferment this is you'll see it says netherwort, glowstone, or redstone, depending on how long you want the effect to last. So, <coughs> as you see, it's also giving us bone meal. So we can easily do what we need to do. Now I'm trying to remember hops. I know it was in the brewing kettle. But why is that not wanting to work that way? Anyways, back to this. Okay, as you see, this is still producing. It's filling this up. Okay, grape wine young. Now, I could speed this up. A lot easier. Let me just go ahead and throw that one in there. Get it topped off with a little bit extra come on okay I know you was done alright well you see that we got 2600 basically two buckets worth and a sixth of a bucket okay now let's go ahead and get the other ingredients that we're gonna need we're going to need either well actually we're gonna need uh... see nether wart to start off to kick it off anyways boom you'll see that it's actually doing that now let's see we're gonna need a force rod uh... rod of time there we go you shift click as you see this is taking its sweet time you see right now it's just chugging along and you're going to see grape wine fermented in just a brief moment and like maybe two more clicks <laughs> maybe oh yeah I forgot this part of the GY is a little bit longer than the rest of it alright and should be done right about now as you see, it is fermented. Now, fermented. Oh, well and good. Okay. But, say you want to be stronger. Okay. Let's see. Where is the glowstone? Dust, that is. Because you're going to need the dust form of whatever you're wanting to use. There it is. Glowstone dust. Okay. So you want it to be stronger, more potent. All you do then is you put that in there. And we're going to click the crap out of this. Get this thing on up there. Boom. Fermented. Potent. Okay. Now you see how that is done. Okay, now we can discard that. Okay, now you see how grape wine is made. Okay, now let me just get a let me just spawn in a bee because this is going to be irritating to me. All right, let's see. That's the type of bee, growth craft bees. Basically, you got to find the growth craft beehive well over a period of time sorry about that I know that that gets annoying you'll see that the honeycombs are created and you'll get blank honeycombs okay we're gonna clear this out 
okay? Now, it doesn't matter how many bees you have in there. The more bees that you have in there, the better. Because that means they'll put in more empty honeycombs and fill them up as needed. Now, I'm thinking, if I remember correctly, nope, they don't go in there. I do believe they go into a crafting table with a empty bucket. So let me find a empty bucket. Let's see, here we go. Empty bucket, okay. And I do believe it goes like uh, this. Nope. Oh, it's, it's a flower pot. That's where I was mistaken. Durr. <laughs> My bad. Decorative. Find. Really? Jabberwock? Get out of here, dude. Get out of here. You saw that, though. The recipe to make, you know, honey. Okay. Well, with that, you put that water bucket in the empty bucket, and you get a bucket of mead. Young. Okay. Now, really, dude? He just wanted to get some camera time. Good God. All right. Well, even though that I cheated these in, you know, you say that we make a bucket of meat. Yum. Okay. Well, what we do at that point in time, let's go ahead and get rid of that, bring this down, is we can then, you know, just throw it into there directly. Okay. Just into a fermenting barrel. And then to, we have to go basically through the same process of nether wart and then redstone or glowstone. So let's go ahead and speed this along. Sorry. That should speed it up quite a bit. But like I said, the beehives that you need to look for just a really basic beehive. It'll be in the trees, it'll be either be can't remember if it's in a forest biome, a jungle biome, birchwood forest biome. It's in a forest type biome. Like whether it be, you know, a jungle biome, as long as there's trees, you have a likelihood of finding one. It's like, I want to say, depending on the size of it, about a 10% chance of finding one. So it's, it's, a little bit difficult to find one of the hives, but once you find one and you get a bee, believe me, you're set as far as making mead. Okay, well, see, this is still mead young. Let's go ahead and click it one more time. And we got mead fermented. Okay, now here's where you make the decision. We've already done glowstone, and we've seen that it makes it potent. Let's go ahead and do... A piece of redstone. Let's see. Redstone. Boom. Put that in there. And. Here goes the sound again. And also, as you may notice, you also get the honeycombs back as empties. Now, see, we've got meat extended. So basically, the effect of it will last longer. Okay, now, we've seen grape wine, we've seen mead. Now, I'm trying to remember exactly how to do the hops. I'm thinking that the hops may not have to be done with water, it may have to be done with milk. But, that wouldn't make any sense. But we're going to go ahead and, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to make sake. You know how to farm it and everything. Okay, now let's see. The rice that you normally get, and that you'll find, is this type of rice here. Okay. Now we're going to set up a bit of a farm here. 
okay? And this is where, you know, you can automate it to continuously give you plenty of stuff. And yes, I know I'm doing this all out of grass. Now, let's get ourselves another hoe. Let's see, where is our hose? There's our hose. What you'll need to do is double click it. To make sure that all the land is turned into basically the paddy field. Rice paddy field, to be exact. Okay, now let's get rid of that hoe. Get us a bucket of water. Speed this up just a little bit. Boom. Okay. Oop. Only needed one bucket. Boom. Take that away. As you see, that will do its thing there. Okay, then you just plant your rice in the paddy field, like so. Okay, then you sit and wait. Or instead of using a rod of time like I did, you could use bone mill. Because a bone mill, one bone mill will do a 3x3 three three area. So, you know, it'll do quite a bit. You'll need, I think, two bone mill two or three bone mill really so let's go ahead and get another water bucket get rid of that and that one and that one okay boom as you see now the water has forced it over if you do that you'll keep your water in there okay just be careful when you go in now the rice I know for a fact will go through the brewing kettle to make sake See, makes sake young. That's when you need to put it in through and tell you what, we'll just gr grab another lever from over there. Boom. As you see, it is putting the sake young into there. Now, see, we got the mead there. Boom. We're swapping it over to sake. Okay. And we're just going to go ahead and slap 64 plus whatever in there. That way we get a full barrel of sake. God, this is taking forever. <laughs> Let's see. I already got rid of the uh, rod of time, basically. Oh, it's on stop. I want it on hyper. Alright, now you see that is done. We're going to go ahead and throw those in. And let it fill up this the rest of the way. As it'll do. Really? Hmm. Okay. That was a bit of an understatement. There we go. Now you see it's actually doing its thing properly now. Okay. So what we're going to go ahead and do is again, nether wart. And we're going to wait for that to finish up. It gets up to three, th three buckets worth and then it'll stop. So you can get the buckets of sake. You can do the bottles of sake. Now the potency increases your chance of being tipsy gives you speed two and jump two the extended gives you tipsies basically same percentage chance but it gives you speed and jump boost instead of the extended versions or the more powerful versions of that okay so now you know what redstone and just basic fermented here, let's go ahead and drink some. See, I've got a chance of being really tipsy right now. You drink a lot of it back to back, you're going to be messed up, <laughs> to be simple about it. Alright, let's go ahead and drop that off. Now, let's see if I can do that. And, yeah, it doesn't tell you anything. Let's see, beer. 
Hmm. Well, I know it's on the wiki. So there's mead. Let's see. Let's tell you what, we'll just go back into the mod and growth craft. Let's see, I know that beer's in here. Let's see. Ale. Oh, okay, ale. Yeah, hopped young. No, not what I was wanting to do. Let's see. If I remember correctly. It was supposed to go in here. But it's not doing what it's supposed to. Hmm. Okay. Go ahead. Flip that thing back up. And we're going to go ahead and pull out the bone mill. As you see. That's what we're using for. The wine. Now I may or may not have to look at. Uh. The wiki again to make sure of what we're going to need for the hops basically to make the ale so give me just a moment or I actually tell you what I'm already over this recording session I'll come back with part two with how to make the ale and in the meantime I'll also be looking for one of those beehives so I can exactly show you what to look for so, thank you for tuning in. In fact, I'm doing my, my outro quite different. I'm going to ask you to please leave so I can shut like the doors behind you and bid you a fine farewell. When it goes deep, go deeper. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for watching. Click that like button. It'll help me out. And uh, let me know if you like this. If you don't, click that you know dislike button and you know tell me what you want to see. Anyways, later.